السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویری ویل ود دی گریس آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ویری امپارٹنٹ پریکٹیکل دیٹ از اے اسمارٹ گارڈن ان دا اسمارٹ گارڈن آئی ول اسٹارٹ فرام دا اسکریچ جسٹ آئی وانٹ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ یو کین ڈیزائن دا اسمارٹ گارڈن اوکے سو فار ڈیزائننگ اسمارٹ گارڈن وی نیڈ اے واٹر لیول مونیٹرنگ سینسر وی نیڈ اے لان اسپرنکل and one laptop to just to monitor and one server the iot server we will we just need it okay so in order to design all these things we just need lawn sprinkle and water level monitoring sensor okay so definitely we will uh, this is just a simulated environment in a packet tracer we will also design in the actual uh, raspberry pi and the group pi so please write in your comments if you want to see if you want to see a video on the actual environment please write your comments in the comment section below of the video so i will design uh, uh, actual uh, uh, water level uh, monitoring sensor for the plants and for the lawn okay so now let's start from the scratch let me do it new no okay so what i need to do i first of all i need a, a lawn sprinkle Uh, sorry just one minute so what i need it i need a lawn sprinkle one minute here okay i need water level okay so the, this water level then i need a sprinkle a lawn sprinkle l a always opening this one l L A W N lawn sprinkle okay so i need these two devices lawn sprinkle and water level okay so after that uh, what i need it uh, i need the server and the laptop and one wi wireless router okay in the server i will use this server okay i will name it iot server iot so name it iot server okay so this is iot server and i also need one wireless router how to how you can take any wireless router you can take the wireless router okay and uh, i need to connect with the cable okay so you can take the cable and connect with your wireless router gigabit 01 okay so here i will assign the ip address uh, to this server this is the ip i need to assign okay what ip i will assign 192.168. sorry 16168.1.1 i will assign this ip to this server okay so then go to the desktop assign the ip 1.10 subnet mask and default gateway will be 1.1 okay because my home gateway wireless router this home router wireless router will be 1.1 because i need to also configure this one as well so now let me first configure the gui interface of my wireless router okay how you can configure the wireless router go to the gui okay so the ip is 1.1 okay and uh, just click on save setting after that uh, go to the wireless in the wireless you need okay i will use header tag is my ssid i will use this uh, ssid header tag and uh, the wireless security it is disabled wpa2 personal i will use aes encryption and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is my passphrase or uh, the password click it on save setting okay so once you will done it then you need to also connect these devices before going to connect this device first go to the laptop okay <coughs> and connect the laptop with your wireless server how you can connect the laptop okay again first you need to switch off 
and remove this one and add the NIC wireless NIC okay and turn on the wireless NIC go to the desktop go to the IP configuration okay sorry go to the config wireless WPA to PSK so here we what is the SSID okay wait so one two three four five six seven eight and the SSID will be at the tag okay so this is the SSID once you will uh, change the SSID it will detect the IP it will take the IP go to the desktop and it will take the IP and connect here okay one minute so this is the wireless wireless is SSID is header tag okay so we did not change it save setting and done it okay the SSID is header tag see now it is connected with the wireless router so I also need to connect the uh, lawn sprinkle and uh, lawn sprinkle so go to the config go to the advance okay go to the advanced setting config advance input output because we need to add the wireless uh, NIC network interface card okay then you can go to the config and in the config what you need to do it go to the wireless and then click on the WP2 personal and first here the SSID okay sorry so WPA2 personal 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and our SSID is at that tag okay then what you need uh, you can see it will get the IP you can see it get the IP again what you need to do with the water level sensor again you go to the config go to the advanced because the wireless NIC we need to add the wireless NIC so we need to repeat the same steps okay then go to the config and go to the wireless okay what is our SSID can you please tell me yes had the tag so what is the the password one two three four five six seven eight okay so once you will click it here again it will go for the DHCP and it start connecting so it get the IP okay so then what we need to do this is my IOT server okay <coughs> this is my IOT server and I will copy the IP this is the services I need to turn on the go to the IOT and click on click it on the IOT services okay and here what you need to do go to the desktop and what one more thing so you need to assign username and password here okay so my <coughs> server IP is 1.10 and admin is a username and the password again we can say the Cisco C I S C O Cisco okay click on login okay sorry uh, sign up and uh, admin Cisco create you can see now the password is created okay now I need to register these IOT devices okay lawn sprinkle let me change the name IOT one two sprinkle s p r i n k l e sprinkle and here i will change water level water level okay just logical name nothing else so what i need to do first we need to register these iot devices with my server as we already uh, discussed in my previous videos okay first the ip address of the server so this is the IP address what is the username admin and password is Cisco C I S C O Cisco okay click on connect and <coughs> once it will show the refresh it means it is connected okay if it will sh show the refresh it means connected so you also need to connect with uh, registered with your <coughs> IOT server again and username admin password Cisco C I S C O Cisco click connect and okay 
so it is connected now so we want to see whether it is connected or not so go to this one go to the browser and type the IP address of the server click button go so what is the username admin password is Cisco login you can see now these two devices are registered with my uh, registered with this one okay so let me design little bit uh, fill the color select the color I will select this color smart garden okay and uh, ah, this is a smart garden okay so let me write it here smart garden okay so smart garden okay so this is a smart garden okay now what I need to do it uh, I need to uh, write a condition now so how how we can write the condition because it should if the water if uh, sensor will continuously monitoring the water level of uh, of your garden if the plants require a water it starts sprinkling the water okay so then we can go to the condition add the add here turn on sprinkle we can say turn on sprinkle okay if the water level is uh, we can say less than and equal to 10 then sprinkle let me then sprinkle status should be true okay if it is less than 10 then we also need to turn off the sprinkle so condition t you are turn sorry turn off it's p r i n n k l is sprinkle turn off the sprinkle okay if the water level is greater than 10 then sprinkle status should be false okay so now we have two condition turn on the sprinkle if the water level is less than equal to 10 then it should on so now here I think greater than 10 less than equal to so greater than 10 mean 11 so we can make it 11 okay so we can make it 11 no issue now we can run the program and see the output now okay so we can run the program we can run go to the home and we will see it will continuously monitoring the water level you can see it will continuously monitoring the water level and it starts sprinkling see it will get off the, the, the sprinkle turn off once it will increase uh, the water level will be greater than 10 centimeter uh, 10 uh, centimeter or whatsoever so this is all about for today so thanks for watching uh, please like and subscribe our video